years old. I've been at Florence Crittenden High School for three years now. I have two boys and my oldest is two and a half. His name is Mateo. Noel is one and a half and he's my youngest. Being a family advocate looks like a lot of things, but primarily it's really working with the students to remove as many barriers as we can to help them graduate high school. Um, but during that process, it also includes helping them with socio-emotional support um, with, between their peers or their family members. Having a family advocate ever since I started, um, it was good because it's like someone you can talk to and like they know a lot of resources and they can help me in things that I don't know, like how to get housing and um, programs that I can qualify for, for being a team mom. Madison and I work on questionnaires about like whether um, my kid is like starting to pick up things and they're saying more than like uh, 15 words, you know, like whether he meets the requirements for his age or not. The activities we do here, like it kind of gives me an idea of like the kind of stuff that I can do at home and like how, it, how easy it is to put activities together. It's really effective when all of us at a as a team are collaborating and working together to ensure that we're providing the best wraparound services for our students. Um, and one of the ways that we do that is by using the app. The Strong Families Bright Future app um, helps us by um, looking at patterns of our young moms um, so that we can see indicators of moms who need more support or um, very specified support and so what we're looking right now is gathering that data and we're hoping that over time um, we can do more prevention work because we see the indicators for moms who are coming in new and we can get that support out the gate. We are really excited to be partnering with Florence Crittenden Services on the Strong Family Bright Future program that we've been working on together for the past couple of years. It's been a strong partnership and we're really excited to continue collaborating with Florence Crittenton on this innovative two-gen technology. The app also helps us coordinate our efforts and so because we have one place to document our experiences and document the support that we're giving our moms, our team is able to work much more efficiently um, to get the moms what they need. Of course the child um, is a huge center of the mom's success and so we want to look at you know our students holistically not only about their life here um, academically, but really having conversations about their parenting and having it in a way where we can talk about um, their child's development, their child's milestones, what the screenings are doing, what the screenings are saying. And so in order to do that and do that efficiently, if we expand the app that allows us to document those things, our conversations can deepen um, and I think support the whole family um, for our moms. Because it is a two generational approach serving their child as well. And so, it's really effective for us if we can have a good understanding of what the baby or child's development is of the mom, um, because it also gives us an indicator of how that mother's attaching to the child, how much she's working with the child at home. What we're really hoping to do with the child development module is include the child. What is their progress? What is their developmental milestones? When can we celebrate and when can we look at those challenges and get those supports in early? Noelle's more outgoing and Mateo's like, the shy one. Um, they both like reading books. I want to be like nothing but successful for them and you know, show them that it's hard, but you can do it.